Hey guys, and welcome back to Allotment Newbie. My name's Jenna, and we're in my uh, ugh, spit my words out. We're at my allotment plot in Doncaster. So today is so peaceful. Let's see if you can see behind me how lovely that sky is. I don't think it'll show you on here. There, look. And then you've got the moon over there. Looks tiny, doesn't it? But it's actually really big. It looks really big. And it's so quiet. See what I mean? Anyway, so it's been a couple of weeks since we last saw each other. Um, things are doing okay. So I can show you now without having to go right down to the ground how well the onions are doing. They're growing lovely. Pretty geese in the background somewhere. <laughs> The garlic is doing fantastic. It's now getting very, very cold um, outside. You can see see your breath, but there's the garlic. The elephant garlic hasn't come through yet, but I don't think that comes through quite as fast as the usual stuff. Um, I think I showed you the raised beds that we've got set up ready for this end of the plot. So they're there, just need to get them filled. And then we've got plenty of jobs to be getting on with today. Um, so let's crack on shall we hey gang so i decided to come and have a quick look to see if there's any free wood chips and there is um i'm just going ooh, <laughs> down to the other drop-off site to see if we've got any more and what it looks like because last time the further i went the better the stuff was so i'm gonna have a look and then we'll see if we can get as much as possible to finish off the the plot paths and stuff like that. Whew, let's go. I tell you what, it's bloody freezing this morning. Okay, guys, so I've got my first, oh, <laughs> spinning around, my first barrel load. Um, we're down by the plum trees where my dad's got his raised beds. Um, we're going to get as much of this covered as possible today, so this may kill me off. I'm a little sweaty mess already. Anywho, so we put a little patch down there. That was what we had left over last week. And yet we've got all this to fill. I mean, a lot of it is leaves. Some of the old stuff I put on last year. But if I can get this covered as best I can, it's one little less job for me pops. Right. Oh, let's crack on, shall we? for barrel load numero dos. <laughs> I'm red hot already. I'm going to take a layer off even though it's freezing outside. <laughs> Time to get wheelbarrow number three. I wonder how many I can get before I keel over. You see that steam coming off of this? Because the sun's hit it. God, anyone would think it was a steaming pile of horse poop. Wait, this is steaming like mad. It's good stuff though. Let's keep going. Right guys, we are knackered. Dad's here. Um, and he's given us a hand as well, so look at all that. Try and swivel you around so you can see it all. So if you remember, when I first put the weed membrane down to cover this area near the plum trees, I said to you, I really want to get it all covered in wood chip. A year later, we're nearly there. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think, Pops? I think it looks great. <laughs> I am now officially knackered. My back is, feels like it's made of glass. Um, I'm going to have a drink and a bite to eat and then we're going to get some more work done. Aren't we, Pops? Yes, yeah, a whole mate's gone. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely having a bit of that. Mm. Not that I need to get any fatter, but you know, I'm not complaining. Hey guys, so I'm in the fruit cage. Not that you can really tell from where I'm stood. I'm on one of the beds here. 
and we're trying to sort out all this overgrown crap that's come from next door um, to try and get it sorted because it's 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 ruining the the netting that's here um that make, makes up the roof basically so it's basically straight to the sky at the minute with my head through it <laughs> so we've got rid of some of it we're just going to take rest down so this is what it looks like at the minute can you see guys so i'll show you when we're finished <laughs> there we go guys look we have a roof again now look my pops has just stapled it back into place because it was all drooping as i was about here so look it's all cleared out there's a few leaves and bits oh, hey pops <laughs> don't know what he's doing but um we've pulled it all out we've taken all the the bits out that we can there's a little bit of because they are grape vines that have come from next door um and there's a bunch of grapes that are just stuck in the netting and it's disgusting <laughs> so i've left it there but yeah we're looking good now peeps i'll take you down here i'll flip you around and show you right so that's all now clear now look except for the odd leaves so we have actually got our roof back. <sighs> oh look, the sun's trying to come out, finally. You know what I'm like as well. Right, so now that's all cleared, we can finish sorting out down here. There's a few leaves we need to get all raked up and what have you. And carry on with the new strawberry bed, but that can wait now till next week, I think. But a job well done. So then my dudes, uh, we've got some more work done. So if you remember, um, where the tomato plants were this year they went through the fence so we fixed the fence so I'm going to show you <laughs> so we've put some extra of this orange weird plastic stuff on it was a massive hole here a, a minute ago you can probably see the old stuff this is the old stuff here look it was stretched knackered so I chopped bits of it off and we've replaced it with some more orange fence ready for our runner beans and our peas to grow up this year so that's good, so that's one job done. And I've got something I want to show you guys. So I was saying to you earlier that the garlic's doing brill and I didn't think that the elephant garlic would be showing yet. <laughs> I have something to show you. First one has popped out of the soil. There is another one, but it's even smaller. See if you can, if, oh God, I don't even find it. There it is, look. So we've got two elephant garlic growing, which is fantastic news. Look at that, isn't it cute? Brilliant. There is something I needed to tell you guys. So on the catch up video number two that was out of the week, um, I mentioned that my dad had pulled up a big parsnip uh, and it was ever so slightly less in weight than mine. I actually forgot to put that footage on. <laughs> so you're probably like, what are you on about? We don't know about this. So I'm going to put this footage on now after this bit so you can see uh, how big his was when we pulled it out of the raised bed. So Pops is joining us this week. He's back because he's been working. He's been a busy bunny. Um, so he's very jealous about the parsnip last week, aren't you? Oh yeah. So I'm going to let him open, open, pull even uh, one or two from the raised bed because um, it needs a bit of air circulation. There's so many in there and the, the plants are just huge. Um, some of the uh, foliage is dying off, which you expect this time of year anyway, but it's it's just gross. So we're going to make a bit of room and uh, just to appease my dad so he can have a, a parsnip or two for his dindins. So uh, let's have a look, shall we? <laughs> Go for it, Pops. He's pulling the one next to it. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's not a bad little size for a little raised bed. Nice. You yeah. can see where it's bent to the because at the bottom of yeah. the bed. Yeah, fantastic. Let's try another one, eh? Right. Hey. Oh, another decent one. That's all right, that, not Dad. Bad, yeah. Excellent. Any more or just that? I think that'll do for now. What do you reckon? There's a bit of room now for others to keep growing and I mean look at it, it's a jungle man. It's a jungle. <laughs> we just pulled those couple of parsnips for my dad and I was just checking on some others and there was a monkey one so we pulled it out. So I said right there's one here that looks quite big. <laughs> let's pull it just to save it. So let's have a look dad. I'm going to spin you guys around. Hang on. Look at that guys, it's freaking massive. We think it's actually gone through the bottom of the raised bed into the actual ground. So we'll show you it when we're done. Hey gang, so you've just seen um, the bit of video of my dad getting a parsnip. Uh, his was an ounce lighter than mine, so I won. <laughs> anyway, so I nearly didn't come down today and I wanted to finish this uh, video because it's been absolutely hammering it down rain wise. 
um, and it's only just, well, it's still spitting now, but it's been all morning and I hate coming later on. I like to get here really early in the morning, as you know. Anyway, the only reason I really wanted to come down today, um, I mean, I would have done other jobs if it were nice, but I wanted to pull up the parsnips today because we pulled one up last week and it was just eaten from the inside out. It was really disgusting. So let's go save these parsnips, eh? So, as I said, I'm not stopping, but this is our parsnip patch. Um, and I think the, the one I'm really excited to pull up today is gonna be the one, if you remember, that I accidentally pulled out when it was a baby and replanted it thinking, yeah, yeah, it'll grow back. Well, it did. Um, so let's go and have a look and see what we can pull up. I don't know how many we're pulling up. I don't know if this is technically classed as a harvest <laughs> or what. So I'll go get me bits and pieces that we need and let's get cracked on. Oh, excited. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> I need to do this quick because it's threatening to rain again. So there's a parsnip here that I'm gonna dig up for you guys. Just bear in mind, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because the one over there that we pulled up last week, I didn't show you this, because we ended up scrapping the uh, scrapping the video. Hello. <laughs> uh, it was just absolutely disgusting and manky, so we'll just have to see how it goes, I suppose. Let's get some of this out of the way. Get you out of the way, because you're next. So this is one, a normal one, and then the next door one is the one that I replanted that I pulled up by mistake. So, even if we just do those two, let's just see what happens, shall we? I'm dreading this because I'm, I'm the soil is so soggy. I'm praying that it's not ruined the parsnips and it's not gone monkey, etc. Oh, come away, get away, get away. All right, so I can see the size of it, it's pretty big. I wish I could get a better angle for you guys to see. In fact, I'll see if I can shift you a bit closer to me so you can see it. Grasses are falling down. So I can't quite get you to see into the soil, unfortunately. So what I'm going to do is I'll keep showing you. I'll dig around it. Oh, I can see the other one next door. <laughs> I've dug too much. Right, hang on. I'll dig a bit further around it. And then I can show you one sec. I say I can show you, I can't see a thing. So I'm hoping you can see that. And you can see it next door one there. I don't know if that just flipped the camera around or what. <laughs> so I'm gonna pull it out and I'll show you when I've finished. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting a bit windswept here. But I've pulled it out. And it is the most perfect looking one, as in it's straight as. Look at that. Not, as, not my biggest, but it's a biggie. So that's the first one. Now I want to show you the one that I replanted. So I'm gonna pull that one up and let's see what that one looks like, eh? <laughs> this should be interesting. I'll be chuffed to bits if it's just normal. But if it's, you know, weird shaped, I'm still gonna eat it. <sighs> so we have the, um... oh, my back, hang on. Ugh. We have the uh, parsnip out that I replanted and as predicted, something did happen. Now I thought it'd go all crazy and a bit weird. Sorry, hang on. There we go. I thought it'd go crazy and weird and it did a little bit. It looks like it has legs. Let me spin it round. Sorry, there we go. It's forked. But to say that I pulled it out the ground fully as a baby, and it's, oh, hang on, this is even funnier. It has a winky. <laughs> it's still grown to a decent parsnip, that'll get you it, so brilliant. I'll uh, decide what others I'm pulling out and then I'll show you the haul at the end. Yay! <sighs> Guys, it is a workout pulling up parsnips. I know what next one was so long and it was so deep in the ground. I haven't pushed my glasses up, I'm oh, not, I'm filthy. <laughs> I've been practically elbow deep in mud, so I accidentally snapped it, so I'll see if I can show you. Hang on. 
<laughs> right. No, you can't really see there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin you around. Two minutes, dudes. <laughs> so there's my parsnip rocket. It's a decent size. And I accidentally snapped it. Oh, the bag just disappeared while I took it out the ground. But let me just show you how deep the hole is that it was in. So you can understand just why it's so difficult to pull these rascals out. Look, that down there is where the rest of the bit was that I had to pull out that had snapped. It's really, really, really deep, which is why I was elbow deep in mud. So we've got three decent parsnips there. God, not bad at all. Just going to decide how many to leave and whether just to dig them all up. One will have a think. Oh. <gasps> Fat stumpy. <laughs> First regular sized one from the bed. It's all been pretty big. Look at that, how cute is that? Say we're a, look at state. <laughs> Say we're on a rescue mission <sighs> for these parsnips because I'm worried about them rotting due to all the rain and everything. We haven't done too bad. Only one was manky, which we got up last week. Um, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now bearing in mind, they've all had the same growing conditions. You know, they've all been in the same place. And they all have very much different growth shapes. You know, I think it's just, it's weird, isn't it? So let's have a look at the overall haul. Oh, I'm so excited. I love me some parsnips. So there you have it, folks. Six very different parsnips out the ground. They'll be getting eaten soon. And then we have the others in the raised bed for Christmas. Yum, yum, yum. So a little bad news guys, um, you know I showed you earlier on in this video that the elephant garlic had come up. Well one's still going okay because it's only very very small still, but the bigger of the two, I don't know if an animal has stepped on it or the wind has done something to it, but this is what I've just come back to. Look, snapped, completely off up. So I don't know if this will now grow. It's lit it was literally there where that little the little bit is sprouting through but I don't know I don't know if that'll grow or not we've still got our little one over here it's doing well I've got one at home that I'm going to bring down and plant but at the moment I don't think I can see anymore I'll go and have a quick look last of the parsnips ready for Christmas garlic doing great how lovely does the plot look right now? I know it looks great when it's all growing. You know. I just love it. Love this time of year. Oh, fab. Anyway, guys, I think it's time to go home. So, as you know, these videos that are coming out, little mismashes of a few weeks worth of work. Um, so, we've now done for today. I've only been here probably less than an hour today just to get those parsnips out of the ground because the soil was just, I knew it was going to be absolutely drenched and I didn't want any more to be gross amundo under the soil. So we've got the parsnips um, and like I say, the garlic's looking great. The whole place is just looking nice at the minute. Still needs a bit of a tidy up over winter and stuff. But yeah, we're doing okay, I think. And just love it, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for joining me for this catch-up video numero three um, and we'll see you again 
in another one very very soon see you later guys so from well i haven't said it for a while so for me a lot of newbie i say goodbye see ya <laughs>